So I'm meeting up with genealogist Joseph Shumway, and he's going to help me get started on my adventure. So I'm excited to show you some of the things that I've been able to find based on the information that, that you were able to provide me with. We are going to go on to Ancestry. This is the family tree that I was able to put together. I was mainly focusing on like birth, marriage, death records, those basic key sources that can help us to get back. There's my dad, my mom. Wow, wait a minute. Let me just check this out, <laughs> sorry. So that's my grandfather, that's my mom's dad. That's the only picture I've ever seen of him. Where did you get the photos? The family contacts that you put me in touch with, they were able to provide me with them. Cool. Oh, look at him, to dot with all my love, Bruce. That's so sweet. That's my grandmother. Oh, she was from Alabama, and then she moved to Virginia with him because my grandfather was from Virginia. That makes sense. Okay. Going back a little bit further here, this is your fourth great-grandparents. Thomas Bass. Thomas Bass. Mm -hmm. And his wife, mm -hmm. Mary Mosley. All right, now, and this is still in, in Virginia. Your family has some deep Virginia roots. Her father's Richard Mosley and was married to Mary Bass. Right. Okay, this is confusing. There's Mary Mosley, then there's Thomas Bass, and then there's a Bass up here. I was researching back, and Thomas Bass and Mary Bass, they are related. Oh, that's terrible. Okay. Half cousins, is what it looks like. But back in those days, you have a smaller population hey, in the, the area, south. and you know it's what? the south. We, we gotta and... do what we gotta do down there. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. I'm really curious to know, it seems like we've been in Virginia for a long time. When did we come over? I was able to find some information about that, and I found a particular ancestor that I think is really interesting that I'd love to introduce you to. Okay. It's Thomas Ligon here. Mm -hmm. So he was born in 1623 and died in 1675. So he was born in Warwickshire, England. So we're English, that's good yeah. to know. Yeah, so he's the first ancestor that would have come over on this particular side of the family. And so he's my ninth great-grandfather. Mm -hmm. We can see that he came in the 1640s. So he was a young man at the time when he came. So why would Thomas Ligon have come to Virginia? Thomas appears to be one of the many young men who came to Virginia seeking economic opportunity. This is a period of time called the Great Migration, and it started with pilgrims who came over on the Mayflower in 1620, and that period extended up to about the 1640s when tens of thousands of people from Europe, primarily Great Britain, were coming over to America. You had the colonies in New England that were Puritan-based, that were more attracting religious freedom seekers. Mm -hmm. Virginia is really attracting a lot of young men who are looking to, to make their fortunes to come and obtain large tracts of land that could grow tobacco on and really start to make, uh, produce a lot of wealth for, for themselves and their families. So do we get to learn more about the ligands? ligands? It's gonna take going to England. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much. You bet. I like the name Ligon. It seems very English and posh. I'm excited, I'm excited to go and to learn about my family history. And I love English architecture.